Space is Sims, and we are back with more Olympia Soiree. Just continuing. I think we're at the end of this chapter. We're getting toward the end of the, the Curse of Love chapter. I am so sorry right now. Oh my god. I have to wear my glasses every a couple of days because of getting new contacts, and I don't have enough to last me until my appointment. And like, today is one of those days I'm wearing my glasses, and like, it is extremely uncomfortable putting a headset on over glasses. I don't know how people do this because they're just like bugging out and my glasses are just not sitting right and they're my eyes feel weird. Okay. Anyway, we're going to do our best to try to read now. So, me, leader of the white. Hey, me. Did you just say leader? Um, what happened with you and Lord Yosuga? Daifuku, if I become the leader of the white, you're going to be my right-hand mouse. Daifuku is staring up at me. I humbly accept, but what about Lord Yosuga? It was something I'd never thought of since there was no leader on Tenyo Island. But I guess I'd be the leader of the White now that there's no one else. I was still excited by the events of the day. Yosuga really is amazing. The situation with his older sister from Yomi must have caused him immense pain. But that urged him to action, to bring change to Yomi using whatever means he could. What should I do? I feel like I'm going to fall in love with him again. I finished my cleansing ritual in preparation of my performance, but I couldn't get Yosuga out of my mind. I needed to head to the wharf in less than an hour. I wonder if I can read flower fortunes, too. I borrowed a large basin from the kitchen and filled it with water using a pitcher. I gently placed Iroha flowers on its surface. The white flowers didn't say anything to me. I hope that fate will allow Yosuga to love me, however he can. Hearing myself say that was incredibly embarrassing. Yeah, it's like one thing when you think it in your head, and then when you say it out loud, you're like, oh, now I just feel dumb. Like, I get it. Oh my god, I cannot. My glasses and my headsets are like, it's so annoying. Ugh, how do people do this? Because it's like they're rubbing into my, like pressing it into my head and then my glasses don't sit on my face right and then it's making it so hard to read but then if I address my headset to put it lower then it's like sitting right at that area right underneath like right where your glands are and then it's like pressing in there and that's uncomfortable like I just can't it's hurting my eye it's just making my eyes feel like really weird like they can't focus and everything because my glasses are just not sitting in the right spot now because my headset's pressing into them into like the you know the arms ugh anyway I'm so stupid. This isn't a fortune. It's more like I'm cursing him. What in the world am I doing? I need to prepare for the ritual. That's more important. The night wind blew inside and the Aroha flowers drifted gently across the surface. Listen carefully and promise me. Promise that you'll find your true love and live as happily as your mother has. I just know the other half of your soul is out there, somewhere in this world. If he is, I want it to be him. I want Yusuga to be my soulmate. Yusuga is prohibited from the act of mating until death. Again, we just have to kill him and revive him, and it's fine, because then, then he's no longer prohibited. They, they're, I mean, loopholes, right? Mother, what should I do? I can't bring myself to let Yusuga go. White and purple. Ooh! Hell yeah, white and purple. You think he's going to show up? I hope he shows up. Oh, I guess maybe not if it's daytime and it's the next day. That's disappointing. I was really hoping he would go. Oh. No letters today. Before I go back up... <sighs> Unless he was there and she just didn't see him. But like with Tokusada, she mentioned that he was there, you know? Yusuka isn't around. He promised he would attend my dance if he could. If he wasn't able to, after all, I had no intention of reprimanding him for it. But if I could just see him once, even for a moment... Yosuga's work to do, too. He did serve me tea yesterday, so if I don't find him, I'm heading back. As I was thinking to myself, I caught sight of his back as he walked down the corridor. 
Maybe he's heading down to see Sukiyomi. I better not get in his way. It was then that I noticed. Something about him felt dark, as if he were consumed in thought. Yasuga? His whole body seemed fatigued, as if he'd suddenly dropped dead. That's a very grim thought. After hesitating for a moment, I quietly decided to follow him. Stuck in! Stuck in stuck? I'm just happening to be walking in the same direction as you. Don't make a sound. Slowly. Slowly. Creeping. Very cautiously, quietly behind you. Keeping close to the cold walls of iron and stone, I crept along silently down the stairs. Eavesdropping, hiding in a bush. No, I was just here looking for something in this bush that I'm hiding in. I mean, not hiding in at all. Whatever. Oh! Oh, we finally get another CG! But he looks so sad. I had never seen Yasuga like this before. The expression reflecting off Shinomizu's spring was full of hatred. The sight of it sends shivers down my spine. Maybe he's angry at himself. What in the world has happened? What could you possibly loathe so much? Maybe he's mad at himself because he loves you and he can't be with you, but he doesn't want... He can't be happy if you find someone else. Oh, it's like jealousy. That's kind of cute. <laughs> I couldn't call out to him now, realizing I had probably seen something I shouldn't have. But for some reason, I couldn't turn back. I was worried about him. I should be minding my own business, right? I'm sure Yosuga doesn't want anyone to see him like this. I couldn't speak to him, but I couldn't leave him alone. Yosuga's situation seemed so dire that I was caught between revealing my presence and giving him the privacy he clearly sought. I better not call out to him. I knew that, but the bitterness in his eyes seemed to fill us both with distress. No, don't talk to him now. Or you could just, like, kind of walk up like, Oh, hey, Yosuga, I was just coming down here to chat with Sukiyomi. You're here, too? And just pretend you didn't see anything. Don't, like, sneak up behind him and be like, Why are you staring angrily? <laughs> like, you know. I stayed close to the wall and kept watch of him. I'm sure he'll go back up soon, so I should hurry and leave before he sees me here. I took a small breath and was about to turn around when... Yosuga, no! Putting his hand in the water, okay. Yosuga turned around at the sound of my voice and quickly withdrew his hand from the spring. What are you doing? You of all people should know this spring is dangerous. Why are you here? Huh? Oh, um... Have you come to see Sugiyomi? Should I tell him the truth? I knew I should mind my own business, more so after seeing him in such a state. But I couldn't lie. I'm sorry. I followed you down here. What? <laughs> like, what? 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 I don't even know how to read that in his voice. Just like, what? Like, I saw you in the corridor and something didn't feel right. I was worried, so I decided to follow you. Larry, about me. Yes, you. You'd better not do this again. This is no laughing matter. You realize how dangerous the water here is, right? What would you do if you contracted Haku from it? That's a good question indeed. He was back to his usual self. But his depressed image was still vividly etched in my mind. I was just thinking... A water as clear as this could possibly bring about such devastation. He looked at the spring. Indeed, the water was crystal clear and beautiful. Any unknowing person would scoop it up into their hands to quench their thirst without hesitation. I think the legend of the spring is true. Sukiyomi said there's a corpse sleeping somewhere down here that's the source of all disease. I have heard the same from him as well, but I suppose I was merely curious. He was smiling, but his smile seemed so pained. In any case, don't you dare touch the water here. Promise me that. A promise? Between us. That's right, a promise to never do something like that again. You want me alive, don't you? His surprising reply was making me stare. W what do you mean by that? Of course I want you alive. Is there a problem with that? No, I am very happy. I looked down to hide my blushing. I was really worried for a moment, but is he just playing with me again? I'm not teasing you, you know. 
I am sincerely happy right now. I... I see. I apologize for worrying you. It's fine, as long as you understand... Yasuka smiled and looked at the spring again. I heard from Tsukuyomi that there's a place similar to this on Tenyo Island. Huh? Oh, so Tsukuyomi told you about that too? Well, yes, as a matter of fact, there's a spring called Ikimizu Spring that looks just like this one. Oh, but the spring water doesn't give people haku. The water is cool and delicious, and the women of the white went there as part of our ritual to cleanse the body and mind. I heard it was uh, Goddess Amaterasu's spring, which is why my mother went there daily, and before I could stop myself, tears started to well up in my eyes. My mind drifted back to the island as I recalled the happy days I spent there. I quickly wiped away my tears and put a smile on my face. I I'm sorry about that. Poor thing. Sorry, hold on. Oh, okay. I had to free my arm from my hoodie. I'm like sweating and I forgot to take it off before I recorded. I can't pull it up over my head, but I can at least take it off my arms because it's hot as fuck over in this corner. I could be freezing sitting on my couch, which is like two feet away, but like over here with like my computer and the TV. I don't know, it's hot over here. It's freaking bizarre. I don't know. Anyway, Yosuka gently put his hand on my shoulder. That was all it took for me to feel a renewed heat radiate throughout my entire body. Th this is so pathetic. I was the one who said yesterday that I wouldn't be held back by what happened on the island anymore. I know it was something you meant sincerely, but such things cannot be changed in only a day. I'm sorry, and thank you. Do you wish to return to Tenyo Island? I thought a bit before nodding. Just once, that's all. I mean, it's probably all ruins by now anyway. It's just that I never had a chance to say goodbye to everyone. Yes, you're a woman of Tenyo Island. The last remaining precious, precious white. You moved closer to me ever so naturally. You must find your beloved soulmate as soon as possible. Mingled in with the heat of my body was a sweet sensation running across my skin. It was so new and surprising that I couldn't help but shrink away from him slightly. But... I have work to do, so I'll be heading back. The funny thing is, is like, he's so close and you want to be close if she loves him, but then all of a sudden he touches her and she like shrinks away, like... I mean, it's like an ins you don't realize you're like, oh god, I'm shocked, I'm just gonna jump back, like... But like, if he's aware of it, like he's like getting really close to you and you just like jump away, that's like... If someone did that to you, you're like, oh, I'm getting close to them, and then they back away, you'd be like, okay, they're creeped out by me getting close to them, okay. Like, so he's seeing this, like, oh, she keeps backing away from me, like, okay. Like, instead of us being like, oh god, I just can't handle being close to you, you know? With that, he gave a smile like nothing happened, and walked off toward the stairs. Uh, all I could do was stand there and watch him go. If I chased after him... If I heard any more of his voice, I would sure I would lose every last breath. What just happened? There's no way I can leave Yosuga alone now after seeing that. And... You must find your beloved soulmate as soon as possible. He's like, find them so that I don't love you and fall for you even more. I'm just going to pretend. Shut up. Maybe that's what he's thinking. It's fine. It feels good, doesn't it? Just remembering it made me feel hot again. I mean, maybe that's why I'm hot. It's not because I'm sitting over here. It's because we're talking to Yosuga. I don't know. What was wrong with me? Yosuga's hot, so naturally you feel hot near him. I want you to be my soulmate, but... People were making their way through the plaza. I could hear the usual conversations about me. But they didn't bother me at all now. I know that thinking about him isn't enough, but... Again, it is just an example. I mean to say I can be here for you in whatever manner you please. That's not what I meant. I frowned, looking at the sundial when... Sakio? Lady Olympia! Running toward me was the man from yesterday who worked at the bathhouse. I could tell from his urgency that something wasn't right. What is it? Is there a problem? I was just there. He nodded in response to my whisper. Lord Yosuka wishes to speak with you urgently. Could you please come with me to Yomi? 
Urgently? That's interesting. We were just there. We just saw him like 10 minutes ago. Sir, Lady Olympia has arrived. Ah, good work. Thank you. You may take your leave. The man bowed and quietly departed. We were the only ones left now. I'm sorry to have called for you so suddenly, but I'm glad that he found you so quickly. I didn't have any letters to deliver today, so I was just at the plaza. I admit he did catch me by surprise, but what happened? Would you mind hiding in the bathtub there for a moment? In the bathtub? I looked over at the bathtub at the very end of the room. There's no water in it, right? I assure you it's not a prank, but a matter of urgency. I really am glad you made it in time. Huh? Wait, you're not making any sense. A certain man will be here shortly. But we'll be having a conversation of a rather unpleasant nature. But it's something about which you must know. The fuck is that? Weird banging noise. He was definitely not joking. There was a tension in his expression that could not be hidden. But I want you to promise me this. Do not say a word. If your presence is known, I'll likely be killed. Now hurry. Make sure you keep yourself low and out of sight. Uh, understood. Is this enough? A bit lower. L like this? Good. That should work. Our conversation shouldn't take too long. I like playing hide and seek, but to hide in a tub like this is... He could also have you hide behind the bed. Soon enough, I sensed that the guest arrived. Crawl under the bed. Nervously, I snuck a careful peek. Oh, welcome, Lord Sakio. Ah. Your business appears to be thriving. I owe every success to the generosity of others. I exist only because of my dear friends on the surface. No need to be so blatantly sarcastic with me. Let us get right to business. I don't remember the voice I gave him, but, like, it doesn't matter. Why is he here? I do recall Yosuka saying he knew him, but... Your messenger has informed me of your offer. But such a proposal is rather difficult to believe. No doubt it could merely be a sinister plan against me. But I wanted to send for you, if only to hear it denied. Although I didn't expect you to accept my invitation so soon. Hi, what you doing, buddy? That messenger is indeed one of my servants. He had, like, an angry voice. But this, I don't feel like this doesn't feel right. Oh, whatever. I do beg your pardon. Well, I've never seen him before, and he'll not give me his name. Are they talking about the man from before? I have instructed my men to speak without leaving evidence. There's no telling how it may be abused. I, could... I cannot agree more. I thought it was like, so he doesn't want to leave any proof. Now then, what is your reply? Before that, I must ask. Why do you wish for me to wed Olympia? It took all my strength to keep from yelling out. I I'm not hearing things, am I? What in the world are they talking about? It is because you are the most suitable. Most suitable, you say? We need her to bear children of the white as soon as possible. However, she cannot do it alone. Records show that the women of Tanyo Island only bear females of the white. I've never confirmed that for myself, but if that's the case, it does not matter with whom she chooses to mate. I mean, we she acts shocked about that, but like we kind of already knew that. I mean, that's, you know. There are many ways to have her bear children, but considering her status in the island's future, it's best that her children have a father. Um, wow. Let's just not even... We'll just forcibly inseminate her. Gross, back off. A father from a prestigious color class. Have I misunderstood you? I'm indeed of the secondary purple, but I was also exiled to Yomi and prohibited from mating. You've not forgotten- Oh, that's Yosuga, sorry. Ahem. You've not forgotten this, have you? If she is successful in bearing your child, I'll have your exile lifted in exchange. I must be hearing things. I was desperate to believe so. It seemed too unreal. My mind couldn't keep up. Why? I mean, okay. 
this is what we, sweet, I want to marry Yosuga, so this is awesome. But, like, um, why is Sakio so invested in me, like, popping out babies like this? Everyone's like, get married and have babies so you can keep the bloodline going. But, like, he's, I have a feeling it's just, like, uh, we need you to get married and have babies so that I can get her blood and I can take the blood of all of her children. You're gonna, like, milk all my children for blood, because that'd be the only reason he cares. But also, I'm confused why he would want Yosuga instead of just anybody. You know what I mean? What's that about? That's interesting. I mean, aside from, hey, it works for me, because not, nah, right? But why are Yosuga and that man having this conversation? I wanted to just jump out and ask them myself. I tightened my fist as hard as I could so the pain would keep me grounded. Are they really talking about me? Returning to the surface. So, you don't want to end your life in Yomi, do you? She is of the rare white. Unfortunately, previous tests using her blood have not yielded the desired results. Which means there's still much to do. You are committed. She is my last hope, after all. Last? But as the last remaining white, the situation remains far too precarious. There's a disease on this island. The fearsome, hideous disease you know very well. A cause of the Kotowari has given her one year. We cannot afford to take that long. If she were to lose her life to Haku, all would be lost forever. She must mate as soon as possible so we can secure the next of the White Bloodline. Surely you must know how mad that sounds. Call me mad if you wish. In other words... You seek more test subjects of the White to advance your research. And you wish for me to be the sire. It would be a beautiful love story, don't you think? The young man, condemned to Yomi for his family's iniquity, falls in love with the Maiden of the White and returns to the World of the Sun. Her dignity will remain intact. You will be honored and the people will celebrate your sincere love. The type of story one might enjoy at a theater. I see only benefit in this plan for you. I believe the secret to longevity is a healthy distrust of such stories. If you refuse, I'll have to use Nagusa of the Jade. I think it's so funny that Sakio is basically over here like, you should, like, bone her and impregnate her and shit. And Yasuka's like, um, like, the fuck? And he's like, if you don't do it, then Nagusa's gonna do it. So I I'm gonna use Nagusa. It's like, are you talking to someone like, if you don't want to wear this outfit on the runway, I'm going to use Nagusa and he's going to walk the stage for you, girl. Like, without considering the fact that, okay, we're hiding in a tub, but there is a whole other party involved. Hello, me. Thank you very much. I have a say in this. And you're like, Yusuga, if you don't do this, then I'm going to... What the fuck? And she thought Akaza was bad, basically, being like, look, if you don't find a husband in a year, I'm taking the job. Like... You're basically like, I'll use Nagusa. Uh-huh. Um, you forget that there's a womb over here that has to have a say. You're just, what are you going to do? Just force? You this is going down a dark path, Sakio. You're like, hey, Yosuka, you should like hit on her, fall over there. That'd be great, right? But like, that's not even it. It's like, you're going to do it. And Yosuka's like, the fuck? Like, he's literally like... I'm not a cow at a breeding farm, okay? Where you're like, I got this cow, you gotta, ah, let's go. Fine, if you don't want your, like, bull to do it, I'll go over there to Farmer Johnson and get his. Like, this is not how it works. I'm a human being, fuck you. What the fuck? Oh my god. Sakio needs to be Sakio'd in the face. He's like, just nut punch this bitch. God, I... Man... You felt kind of bad for him, like, in Riku's route, because it was, like, the, like, I just wanted to use your blood, and okay, like, it was a bad idea, but, like, I'm desperate, and, like, and then he got washed away by the waves, and you're like, I mean, you did all the wrong things, you were desperate, I mean, I can understand your reasoning, but you got desperate and crazy, but it was a little more forgivable than, like, now it's like, you've crossed the line now, buddy! Like, I was willing to be like, alright, I mean... You've lost your fucking marbles, but maybe you realize that, like... I don't think he really realized he was like, Fuck this shit, I'm out! But, like, I feel like he was a little more like you could almost forgive his, like, 
med scientistness in Riku's route because you're like, I mean, okay. But now it's like, oh, now you're just pushing a line, buddy. Fuck that shit. Anyway. You suga of the purple. I ask out of respect to you. The violet and the purple are of the same class to here, and we're keeping watch over your former district. As your comrade, my wish is that you return to the surface as soon as possible. I'm going to call bullshit on that. After all, Lord Hiroko will be saddened to see the purple class go extinct. Aw, uh, but you've got babies in the factory out there. They're like having a baby factory. They're just... It's not... It's not. And this is a love story I've prepared just for you. A role for you and no one else. You say that like I didn't fall in love with them on my own, Sakio. Fuck you. What the hell? I'm afraid I cannot give you my answer now. I might I have some time to consider your proposal. I look forward to your agreement. This bitch. He's like, I invent. Like, he's like, I've designed this whole thing for you. And it's like, if I wasn't in love with Yosuga, I would have some serious problems with that statement. But it's like, but I am in love with Yosuga. So it's like, but um, and my problems with that statement are, you didn't do this, Sakio. I fell in love with him on my own accord. Go fuck yourself. You're not taking credit for that. But like, if I was in love with anyone else and you were doing this, like, fuck you, dude. What the hell? I could smell blood. My nails dug deep into my hand. Lady Amaterasu, please. Please tell me this is all a bad dream. Some fucked up shit. You heard all of that, didn't you? I, I heard it loud and clear. What is going on here? Was that conversation really about me? It was about you, Olympia of the White. Uh, I see blood on your hand. Before I knew it, Yosuga was holding up my hand. <gasps> oh! Oh, hi, CG. Finally. Oh, oh my god, look at how gorgeous he is. Jesus Christ. She looks super pretty in this one, too. Like, I understand. The giant saucer eyes work for her in this one. And also, like, it's the shock value of the fact that, like, <gasps> oh, my God, look at how gorgeous his eyes are. Oh, bitch, stop it. A sweet numbness ran through me from the warm, soft spot he just touched. I, similar to what I felt back at Shinomizu Spring, a heat rose up from inside me. Y Yasuga, hold still or you'll get blood on your blouse. But Yosuga's tongue gently licked away my blood. I mean, that's a little bit much, dude. I wouldn't do that, but... It just looks like he's kissing your hand, so I'm okay with the CG. Like, the cut continued to bleed, and he ran his tongue over it again. What is with doing that? Like, <laughs> why do people do this in game? Why is this a thing? It happens often enough where it's, like, not a weird thing. It's weird, but it's not like, well, this is unexpected. It's like, you know, it is unexpected, but at the same time, I'm not shocked because it's happened before in games. What the hell? Uh, wait. Poor thing. You had to endure it so much. Let me put some medicine on that. Come. He was acting like nothing unusual happened. But I was holding my breath the entire time he applied the salve to my wound. Y Yasuga, how do you know him? As Sakio mentioned, after Haku struck the purple, the violet have been maintaining control over the open district. It's merely pretext. I blackmailed many prominent people in the military in order to have the birth agreement laws approved. Sakio acted as negotiator. Perhaps this is payback. D don't say that! Y you talked about being my... Yes, well, about that. I thought you wouldn't believe me if I told you myself. Th this isn't about whether I would have believed you or not. I was so confused, I couldn't control the emotions that were surfacing now. Surprise, frustration, regret, sadness, and a strange sense of joy. To be honest, I was surprised when the messenger told me last night. And then again, it certainly sounds like a plan he would devise. So, does that mean you're going to be my husband? Upsetting, isn't it? To hear something like this out of the blue. I could only nod in response. He was so calm about it that I was slightly irritated. Yosuga, how can you be so calm? I was confused in my own way last night. He's like, I'm confused but joyous. Really? He sure doesn't seem like he would have been. It seems that the white and the purple are connected by fate. 
The coldness in his voice and expression made me go tense. Let us go on a little outing tonight. Huh? And do you have a curfew? I wouldn't want Lord Doma to kill me, so I will send a messenger. Where do you want to go? Is it far from here? It is perhaps the place you wish to see the most. It wouldn't do to attract attention, so we should wait until the sun sets before leaving. You're going to take me back to Tenyo Island? Is Yosuga the one that's going to take me? Or the Purple District? Cause if you're taking... The place she wants to go is Tenyo Island. How are... You're going to... You're the one that's going to take me there? Yosuga, the beach is up ahead. He didn't tell me where we were going, no matter how many times I asked. Girl. She should have guessed. But I mean, if he is like, the place you want to go the most, you're like, well, that's Tenyo Island, but I really don't think we're going there. So, huh, what else? Like, you know? We left for the mystery location when night fell. Yes, I can see Tenyo Island from here. I'll let us borrow that boat for a short while. Huh? Yosuga, don't tell me you're going to take me to Tenyo Island. We can't get there. I'll let you cry just this morning wanting to return. Well, yes, I do want to go back home. But no matter how close it is, it's impossible. Do you see those whirlpools and that large one there? Only Sukiyomi can get past them. I'm afraid that's one of his little lies. He didn't want you to com commandeer a boat and set off to sea alone. He unraveled the mooring line. Mooring line, a rope used to tie a boat to shore. Little lie? What do you mean? Did Sukuyomi tell you that? Why don't we go up first? If we're unsuccessful, we need only turn back. I'm also curious about the island you call home. I can't think of a reason to stop him. This is, like, romantically beautiful. Also, can we... He's on the surface! <laughs> like... He's on the surface! It was just like, eh. I mean, they told us in the other part that he has a pass. But he's like, I don't like going up there. Fuck that shit. But we don't know if he went to our dance. But, like, if he did, it's like the only reason he left Yomi and came to the surface was to see our dance. And now he's like... Boop, 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 nonchalant, let's hop in a boat and get back to your island, bitch. Like, if this man isn't in love with you, I don't fucking know what is happening because nobody is that nice to you just for the hell of it. Like, oh, you're my pal, let's do this. That's just, this is above and beyond. You're like, look, you're my friend and I really care about you. And if you were dying, I'd rush to the surface to help you. But like, otherwise, not happening. This is just like above and beyond for like a bromance. You know what I mean? So, I looked briefly at Tenyo Island before putting my hand on the edge of the boat. Are we going to make it there? <laughs> well, I mean, we're not going to die. Well, I mean, maybe in a bad ending, but... I know we're out here already, but please don't push yourself. If you think we can't get through, we can turn around like you said. Understood. It'll be some time yet before we reach the whirlpools, so will you allow me to entertain you with another story? Yusuka smiled as he continued rowing the boat. I was at Lord Jigen of the Red's Manor when tragedy stuck and my people were ravaged by Haku. He is an outsider, as you know, with invaluable wisdom about medicine that I had gone to learn from him. I was so young that I didn't understand what happened. How my older sister, my father, and my mother had all fallen to Haku. Yusuka's voice was quiet. For a moment, all I could hear was the sound of the waves and the oars. I wondered back then, why did no one call for a doctor right away? Everyone knew how deadly Haku was. Could they not have asked for help from the others? I still don't know the reason for it. And that day, the purple district was engulfed in flames right before my eyes. Fire is able to purify the filth that is Haku. He spoke in a calm and solemn tone. The waves that beat against the sides of the boat were louder than he was. It was then that I became a resident of Yomi. And much to my surprise, Sukuyomi didn't devour me. Instead, he told me about fortune-telling, the world beyond this ocean, and the preparation of rare medicines not even my clan knew about. I exist now because of him. Is it all circling back to Sukuyomi? I'm just kidding. Boys? Yes. They live on the other island. <laughs> Boys! 
She's like, what the fuck is a boy? Like, huh? That's strange. I heard that somewhere before. The boat lurched just as I saw the edge of an old memory. We were much closer to the whirlpools now. Are we gonna get stuck in one? Ahead of us were giant whirlpools that twisted like dark, angry snakes. They surged and grew like mouths that wanted to swallow us whole. Yusuga, do you hear that? It's no use, and it's so dark out here, too. We should head back. Suddenly, something unexpected happened. The whirlpools are... disappearing? I wasn't just imagining things. The torrents that had been raging just a moment ago slowly subsided as we approached. Well, I mean, because we're of the white, so maybe it's like, Welcome back! Or the whirlpools are just like, Boat coming! It's like a gate. Boat coming! <laughs> Raise the bridge! The whirlpools are here to protect Tenyo Island. Sukiyomi told me that they'll always welcome the island's women who come through. And they welcome the night fairy. Or the lunar fairy. Right? Because those men had to get through somehow. So it was like, we know why you were coming through. Huh? Cool. I sat stunned as my strength began to leave me. I love the fact that he's the one that brings us here. The whirlpools had all but vanished now. I wonder if we ever go back with anybody else. Because you know what I mean? This is an important story point. Uh, unbelievable. Sukiyomi never told me that before. And like I said, he was a little lied to ensure your safety. Even if you are familiar with the sea, it'd be too dangerous to row a boat here as a child. Well, that makes sense, but... And he's like, and then you'd grow to an adult and just run away to the island and never come back. Meh. And you're like, Fair. The boat slowly continued on its way. Back to the island that I, I had been longing for. I love the fact that he's taking us home. It's so sweet. Mother, everyone... Seeing the beach come into view brought tears to my eyes. I felt that I might drop to my knees and weep the moment we landed. There, we've arrived. And Yosuga's the first boyfriend we're bringing to our beautiful island home that we used to live on that nobody lives here. But anyway, er... I couldn't hold them back anymore. Tears began to flow at the sight of the familiar structures covered in moss. I, I'm sorry. It's just that it's been so long. We're the only ones here, so you're free to cry as much as you want. You've been away far too long. Tonight, you're home again at last. It would be strange if you didn't cry. Yasuga gently rubbed my back. But I don't want him to see me break down like this. It only took ten years or so. All the structures and trees were completely covered with green moss. Yet strangely enough, it didn't feel like it was in ruins. I think Ikimizu Spring should be up ahead. With Yosuga at my side to support me, I slowly walked atop the carpet of moss. Finally... Uh-huh. <laughs> I finally crumpled to my knees, seeing something I thought I'd never see again. It never occurred to me that this background was Ikamizu Spring. Because I was like, oh, we get another background, and this popped up. I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. That's the one we see in our memories. <sighs> Look at all those Iroha flowers. The flowers, stretching out like the threads of a pure white cocoon, swayed bewitchingly in the night breeze, nestled around the spring. Thin vines spread out across the place, twisting into knots and blending into the stone. This is truly remarkable. I never imagined this place could look like this. The Aroha flowers have been blooming here for so for as long as I can remember, but I never thought there could ever be this many. It was as if they were protecting the now abandoned ground. Was it nostalgia that was making me feel this way? You were right. It does look like Shinamizu's spring. I cautiously reached out to scoop the water into my hands. It's cold. I'm not dreaming any of this. I really am back on Tenyo Island. I heard Sukiyami comes here to pick Aroha flowers for you, because this is the only place they bloom. That's right. It's part of the ritual for me to wear one when I pray to Lady Amaterasu. But you wear it even when you're not on stage. 
I instinctively reached for the aroha flower on my cap. I wonder if it's like a talisman. This flower is the only thing that connects me to this island. Looking at it encourages me. I guess it's just a part of me now. I picked a flower that was in bloom beside me, and then you give it to him and you're like, oh, by the way, you're my husband now. Ha <laughs> ha! Because you gave to... That's how it works! Old-fashioned! You know the lunar fairy? They send the flower with the mouse. I'm just saying. Maybe I don't need to ask Tsukiyomi to get them for me anymore, if we can row past the whirlpools. Yasuka gently smiled and picked an aroha flower as well. After twisting the stem gently in his fingertips for a moment, he delicately set it down on the surface of Ikemizu's spring. Do you know the story of the Lunar Fairy? Lunar Fairy? I don't think so. That's true, she doesn't know that story. We know it from Riku's route, but we're going to tell us now. On the day of a full moon, a single Iroha flower is placed on the doorstep of a Tengu Island man's home. When the moon rises, he takes it with him to a hidden cave, where a boat will be waiting to take him to Tenyo Island. To take him here? How strange. I never heard that before. It's like, how the fuck do you think all the women on Tenyo Island had babies just magically by themselves? Like, girl. She's like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. I wasn't really thinking about it. I'm like, I wonder if it's similar to the Moonlight Shell legend you told me before. It is not. The story of the Lunar Fairy is not merely a legend. This island is cursed by the goddess Amaterasu, and no man can be born here, nor live here. Well, yes... Oh, which is why men need to be brought here from Tengu Island as husbands. No men are born here. Never said that she couldn't actually have. And that's funny, because I never put that together until just now. It's like, okay, they always have daughters of the white blah blah. That's because no men are born on this island. She's not on this island anymore, so she could potentially have sons. That was never a possibility for women of the white before, because... Tenyo Island. Those are Tenyo Island rules. We on Tengu Island, bitch! So you never know. And then you wonder, oh, she's only going to have daughters of the white if she was on, well, maybe she'd still only have children, but maybe there would actually be sons of the white that could actually exist, you know, because we're not in the Tenyo Island rules anymore. Interesting. Hmm. It was like being struck by lightning. I could only look at Yosuga without saying a word. Wait till you find out that Doma was here. <laughs> This might be your dad. <sighs> Sukiyomi really didn't teach you anything, did he? And not about the whirlpools, or even the lunar fairy. Well, um, that's... You're like, I learned sex ed, but definitely not from Sukiyomi. That'd be awkward. He's like my great-great-grandpa. We don't know. Have you not wondered how children were born on this island without fathers? Well, I was only five years old when I left this island, so I never really thought about it. I only learned how babies were born after living on Tengu Island. My mother just told me she found my father washed ashore. And then, but you wonder. Because... Doma being an outsider could possibly have washed ashore. You know what I mean here? And then it's like, oh, but you're an outsider. And then you go to Tengu Island. and the, You know what I mean? It's possible. I thought he somehow made it through the whirlpools. So I figured it was the same for everyone else on the island. Sukuyomi did teach me a lot of things besides that. He taught me reading, arithmetic, and the world beyond the ocean. He read a lot of books to me, and he tended to me when I was hurt, and... Perhaps he thought there was no need for you to know. And there is no one left on the island, so the Lunar Fairy hasn't sailed for years. The fact is, you're searching for a mate on Tengu Island. I guess you're right. An image came to mind. Of a boat floating atop the waves on the night of a full moon. Wait, that wasn't that tonight? It's tonight of full moon? To tell you the truth, Sugiomi was not the one who told me that story. Really? Then who? Uh. Oh. Oh! Y Yosuka? I... I've always wanted to come to this island. Yusuga, are you getting the drama music in the back of the dun, 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 dun. it's like don't do that because this she looks terrified of him which I don't like and he is goddamn gorgeous I knew one day I would do so and there's a story that we men of the purple have been told since childhood Yusuga what the please move and then a Tenyo Island woman killed a man from the purple if we someday found ourselves here 
we should exact our revenge. Um... I don't think we ever killed anybody. I'm trying to think of all the other stories we heard. They killed themselves because we know the other guy was trying to get Kana, somebody from the, the leader of the yellow before Doma and Kanan's father were going to like bust into here because they wanted to bone the ladies of the white. But Kanan's father was like, I can't do it and chickened out. And then everything, all that bad shit happened. But we never learned this. So, but also it's like Yosuka, you're supposed to be in love with us. <laughs> the women of Tenyo Island, you have some kind of power, don't you? Yes, but... Uh! <laughs> Doma screaming in agony, like, is the MVP of this game. It is fucking everywhere. It will never go away. Yosuka knows? D don't... D don't tell me that you brought me here tonight to kill me. The icy cool tip of his smoke pipe traced along my skin. Have you never heard this story? That one of your kind killed a man of the purple. No, never. Suddenly, I felt incredibly sorry about my response. B but I can't deny that didn't happen. My voice sounded weak. It's true that my people possess the power of Batsu. He pressed the tip against my throat, sending a sharp jolt of pain through my body. <sighs> I mean, I guess I just... One of them had to get a little stabby, right? I just really wasn't... I mean, the weird thing is I really wasn't expecting it out of anybody, if I think about it. You know, Himuka's the creepiest one. Like, he's a little awkward and creepy and strange, but he was, like, about to kill someone to protect us, so he would definitely not stab us. Akaza's too much of a good boy. I didn't think her... So, I mean, yeah, Yosuga would have to be the only one that would be, like, stabby. I don't think he's gonna, but I also, it's like, but this is, you're making me concerned because I have trust issues with games. So, like, there's a part of me that's like, what? No, you're a love interest. You're not going to stab me. But then there's, you're a love interest. You might try to stab me before you regret it. And then we fall in love. But I'm already in love with you. And this is, this took a turn. Like, look, there's other routes where you're like, okay, hi, I'm in your route now. We're friends, right? Cool. Let's go somewhere. Now you're going to try to kill me. What the fuck? And then the love develops after that. Never usually... Like, I'm totally in love with- Now you're trying to kill me? The love develops after the trying to kill. So this is like... I just- I guess I wasn't- I didn't see it coming. Or even the threat. He might not actually, but the threatening. The threatening usually happens earlier, before the love. We had love, then threatening, then more love? I don't know. It's weird. Huh. No, this game- This- Give me trust issues with Yosuga. I still love him, don't get me wrong. I usually like the stabby one, so... It makes fucking sense. Glasses ones, stabby ones. You know. Anyway. Wait. He pressed the tip against my throat, sending a sharp jolt of pain throughout my body. I don't know if I read that. Someone here killed a man from the purple? There was no way I could refute his accusation. After all, I did destroy Doma's hand. It is important to preserve the light. But as with the other women on Tenyo Island... You can only bond with a man you crave with all your heart. When touched by a man you do not trust. I'm sorry. An apology spilled from my mouth. And like, so... This woman killed a man on this island, so we're gonna have to take our revenge. Uh, that's probably because he was being a rapey bastard. But like, okay, I guess... It's fine. He, he was totally innocent. Bitch, get your facts straight before you threaten me, ass. Jesus, Yosuga. You didn't want any women to be forcibly raped in Yomi, but you're totally okay with killing me because some woman of the white happened to kill one of your people because he was a rapey bastard? Oh, 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 oh! How the turntable! Okay, just flip shit around, why don't you? Just, just, whatever suits your narrative, jerk. Anyway, not that we know, but this is an assumption, obviously, so... <laughs> An apology spilled from my mouth right back. You're not the one who killed him. I apologize. I know I don't need to, but as a white, the more I said, the worse I felt. No, even if I apologize, that man won't come back to life. But excuses and apologies meant nothing now. 
A growing sense of hopelessness slowly silenced me. No. Will you not kill me? Yusuga! And that story is true. As a woman of the white, you can make me disappear if I touch you against your will. But the funniest thing is, it's not really against my will, though. Like, she might be like, this is not how I wanted this to happen, but I still want it to happen. It's weird. Huh? So, will pressing this against your neck be enough for you to kill me? So you came here to threaten me so that I'd kill you so that... Wow, you are... This is like the Dazai effect. This is like freaking Bungo Stray Dogs, like Dazai, like just... You just want to die, but this is, like, your way of committing suicide by making me do it. That's, like, murder. It's different, but still, like, well, you, have a, you have a suicide wish. You have a death wish. Like, this is... I looked up at him breathlessly. Me. Kill Yosuga. It sounded as though he was talking to someone else. There was a sorrow in his voice that I couldn't understand. If you are a woman of the white, won't you kill me? His cold, sweet voice and the look in his eyes made me tremble. It'd be such a beautiful CG if she wasn't terrified, because, like, look at how, like, deviously sexy he is. What was it? <laughs> what was the prior, ch the other chapter? Beautifully sinister. That's exactly what he is right now. He was so close that I could feel his breath. N no, I won't. The pipe against my throat twitched just a bit. You're like, you're, what are you going to do, like, jab me with it? Like... I will never kill you. Never. Why? I'm here now, trying to kill you. Yet you will never kill me. That's... The answer lay deep within my heart, but was still too fragile and afraid to reveal itself. Or is it that you wish for me to kill you tonight? I don't think either one of us has to die. That's probably the best outcome. I must thank you. I can finally settle the bitter grudges of the men from my clan. His words weakened my whole body. He too was the only survivor of his people. The weight he carried on his back was one that I carried as well. Is it really your wish to kill me and have your revenge? The, slip, the silver pipe against my neck twitched again. Long ago, a shapeless god separated its spirit crystal into two to create man and woman. Since then, humans have been born without half of their soul, and are fated to search for the one who would complete them. Which is why when two such halves meet, love prevents them from parting ways. Y Yusuga? Like, this is a weird thing to say after threatening to kill me. Look, I'm confused. <laughs> why in the world was he saying that now? Instead of trying to push him away from me, I simply gazed up into his eyes. As you know, I bear the sins of the purple and am prohibited from mating. But what if my soulmate were to appear in front of me? Are you saying that I'm your soulmate? Because I feel like you're my soulmate too, and this makes me happy, but you're also threatening to kill me, so I'm not really sure. If I'm, like... I'm horror-aroused. I'm horror-aroused. I'm horrified and aroused, and this is weird. I never thought we'd be here. Like... <laughs> what if someone appears... Who has made me fall madly in love? I think, perhaps, if I'm able to give up what's forbidden, then what I'm feeling is not love after all. That's an interesting, if I'm able to give up what's forbidden, if I can just give up on boning you, then I'm not in love with you. you know, sometimes giving up sex for the person you love because they either can't or whatever, you know, whatever, is love, Yusuga. That's not how it works. But okay. Sukiyomi really has taught me many things. Among them, the story of a girl who lived on Tenyo Island before the Red Calamity. Huh? What was he trying to say? I heard she was enchanted by rainbows. Then she cried and ran from sea snakes and took naps with him in his boat. It was such a different story from the one I was told of the Women of the White. It is difficult to believe such a girl could be the type of monster to lure men to her island and consume their souls. What did she look like with her white hair and her white skin, I wondered. How did her eyes twinkle? How did she laugh? This is like a weird, like, I've been fascinated and intrigued by you since I was young, 
and then now I met you and I've fallen in love with you, but also I'm threatening to kill you. I just... <laughs> we are spiraling out of control here. And how would she... A soft light filled his eyes for a moment. But all too soon, the dream was over. The end came abruptly with the Red Calamity. When I heard the girl was to be taken in by Lord Doma of the Yellow, I fell into despair. So he's like our childhood best friend love. This is the, like, I've been in love with you since we were kids, but I never met you. But, like, it was more like a childhood crush intrigued thing. She'd become far too stealthy and noble to consort with others, and certainly never step foot in Yomi. Even if by some mistake she did come down, she would never spare its residence a thought. Well, aren't you just wrong about me? That was what I believed. But then she began her deliveries in such high spirits. He was talking about me. Like, duh. <laughs> I was the last of the white bloodline. The one taken in by Doma. The one delivering letters. Which is why I wanted to confirm for myself whether there really was a soulmate for me in this world. Are you going to kiss me now? Because that'd be great. The hand gripping the smoke pipe loosened. Oh! Did he just kiss my neck? <laughs> How adorable. Uh, I was transfixed by the sight of his graceful, slender fingers unraveling my ribbon. Oh. The next moment, my body went tense at the feeling of his lips on my neck. S stop, you... Suga... I don't want to. Next was my skirt. Oh, hi. His fingers lifted it up gently, and lifted it up, gently caressing my thigh up to my hip. Oh, hi. I mean, this is a beautiful place in the bed of frickin' Aroha flowers, like, on our childhood, like, island that we missed so much with, like, the man we're not supposed to have. Like, so risque. And, and he also just threatened to kill us, but, like, like, you know, I mean, I don't know. There's just so much going on in the story. You're like, I like it. There's just so much. There's there's so much shit to unpack here. I just want to unzip the suitcase and just throw everything around and just be like, we're just going to revel in all this. So much. It's, just, it's a mess, but I love it. It's a beautiful mess. Stop. Let me go. I don't want to. I was powerless with fear, unable to move. Fear? No, this is not fear, girl. You're enjoying that. Like, I mean, it's a little like, oh, God, wait, what is happening? I'm not ready for this, but you're in love with him, so. Still, no means no, but. Do you know what it means to mate? Mm -hmm. My hip rose naturally as he gently nibbled my ear. Mm -hmm. Overwhelming my desire to escape him was a lustful flame that burned inside me. I've been truly all alone here. Whatever it is we do, no one will ever find out. Until she rolls home pregnant. <laughs> I mean, come on, there's no birth control in this world, so... For instance, I could ignore my punishment and take you into my arms, and no one would know. He sucked hard on my neck, making me gasp. I hope you have... Well, your shirt's got a collar, so you're gonna need to hide that. His palm pressed against my thigh and spread my legs apart. No! Then kill me. It's like, kill me or have sex with me. That's your options. I mean... In this instance, it's Yosuga, so we go for the sex. But, like, normally, in that sense, you're like, I... Just, no? <laughs> Killing you means I'm gonna go to jail in the real world. And having sex with you is just something I don't want to do. So, like, no. <laughs> like, just no. Like, Are you not of the white? You should stop this horrible man from defiling you. He pushed himself between my widely open legs. Just thinking of the kind of position I was in made it hard for me to breathe. The white possess the power of Batsu to defend themselves against foolish men like me. Or so I was told. Are you just saying this and doing this because you think that then I'll kill you and this is what you want? And then you're like, I'm not going to kill you. And he's like, oh, God, what am I going to get you to do to kill me? Like... Just very, now it's like, oh, okay. And then it's like, oh, you're just using me to get me to kill you. Oh, that's unfortunate because I'm in love with you. So it's not going to work. Uh, no. The tip of his tongue traced the edge of my collarbone and my hips quivered again. I was so embarrassed and ashamed, but my body was accepting his weight against me. 
See, the thing is, is in this situation, if someone's doing this and you don't want, you'd be punching them, poking them in the eyes, kicking them in the nuts, but she's saying no. And, like, but she's saying yes at the same time. Okay, that sounds really inappropriate and, like, I'm saying the wrong thing, but, like, she's like, no, don't do this, but at the same time, her brain is like, but actually, yes, because I love you and I kind of want this, but I also don't want this and I don't really know what's happening right now. You know what I mean? I... In a normal situation, if someone was, like, getting frisky with you and you were saying no, no means no. In this situation, she's like, no, but... No? I want it, but I don't. But I do, but I don't. But I don't know. Still, no means no. But I can't be mad at him because we love him. If I didn't like him, I'd be like, creepy bastard! But, like... We love him, so... It's alright. Or... Unless I do something even worse to make it happen. His fingers inched up my thigh again. No, please, wait! I mustered a feeble attempt to protest, but I was so overcome by emotion that the rest of my strength left me. If only... A word that I could refuse. I mean, are you just gonna, like, do this? Like, but then I'm confused. Are you doing this because you want to? Or you think that this will get me to kill you and then afterward you're like, you didn't kill me? I mean, like, damn, man, I had to have sex with you. I'm just really confused as to where he stands with this. Oh my god, we're over time. Sorry. Well, we'll just finish this, but... Suddenly, I no longer felt the weight of his body against mine. Oh. He's just like, alright, peace out. Do you understand your situation now? Yo, Suka? Do you recall what he said? That he would use Nagusa the Jade if I refused. And this is what he meant by that. The man I had only known by name. Suddenly, an image of me being touched by this faceless man appeared in my mind. N no! It was a far different kind of fear than the one I experienced just a moment ago. There was no excitement, no affection. This new idea was so frighteningly unpleasant that it made my stomach churn. See, and that's the thing. That's why she's like, no, I don't want this to happen right now, but I'm in love with you. So it's weird, and I don't know. Huh, huh. Like, I'm kind of excited, and this is affection. And then now you're like, oh, God, but wait. I'll do away with that, Sakio. Yasuka? He said it without any reservation. So I broke one of his arms and burned his permit right before his eyes. It was even more ruthless than before, but somehow strangely beautiful. I knew how foolish it was of me to fall for him even more. As long as he's alive, he will pursue you relentlessly. W what do you mean by do away with? I'm going to send him on a little trip. To the other side of the... Just, just don't worry about it. It's just as it sounds. I shall make him disappear. Oh, he's not even going to sugarcoat it. Wait, don't do that! Yosuga looked at me with cold eyes. You wish to be violated by a man you don't love, and have your children preyed upon along with yourself? I couldn't respond. Of course I didn't want that to happen. But is that any reason to kill someone? Morality must be forgotten at times like these. He chuckled as if he knew what I was thinking. Such compassion for others will do you no good. You're like, it's actually okay, because if Nagusa tries to touch me, I'm just going to botsu his ass, and then... Saki will come near me and I'll just botsu his ass and I'll be like, it was just a... Now you understand what happened to that purple dude, right? Just saying. He said it so naturally. It's likely that I've become obsessed with you. That's okay, I'm kind of obsessed with you, so it's fine. I cannot bear the thought of another man holding you. Yasuga? I wasn't sure what expression I should have on my face. She's like, confused, Joy. Her eyes are confused, but her mouth is smiling. <laughs> Especially after what he did just a moment ago. I feel as though I have the right to kill Nagusa the moment he lays a hand upon you. Strange. I'm still unsure myself what's driving these feelings. It's love, stupid. Perhaps I simply wish to defile you with my own hands. Uh. Or perhaps it's so I could have my revenge on the White for killing my brethren. You are the goddess of the White. 
most precious and beautiful existence in this world. It's really funny that this man doesn't understand. He's like, is it just like revenge or cause like whatever? And it's like, it's called love, dumbass. God, idiot. Why are you dumber than we are? Like you've been out in the world and knew things. I'm, I, I mean, I knew things, but like also Sukiyomi hid shit from me. But, like, I'm still smarter than you, at least I know. Am I in love with him? Wow, I think I'm in love with him. And he's like, I don't understand these feelings. Idiot. <laughs> like, the sun doesn't shine its light into Yomi. And nothing exists there that's pure and white. So it must be that I wish to drag you, who shines more brightly than anyone else, down to the depths of the earth. Could such a wicked emotion truly be love? I didn't myself know love enough to answer his question. No, I think you're just in denial because you're trying to act like you're a colder, harder badass than you are. I was sure even the dictionaries in the library at the manor wouldn't contain the words I was looking for. Death to the women of the white. The women of the white are lustful monsters of evil who deserve no compassion. And that was what the men of the purple said. But you tried to save my life from Shinomizu's spring. And this very night, you swore through teary eyes that you'd never kill me. For a white, be your kind. Yeah, maybe you should think that the men of the purple told you lies. But then again, Riku also heard lies about us too, so... I won't kill you. I spoke before I even realized it. Because I decided to never use my powers on anyone again, and... And... Never mind. And because I have feelings for you. I couldn't say that to him. I was afraid that if I told him, he'd take me completely, body and soul. I can say this. I want you to live. I see. The corners of his lips raised slightly. But I couldn't tell whether it was a smile or not. In that case, let us call a truce between the purple and the white for the time being. Instead, I'd like to propose a deal. Huh? I want you to choose me as your husband, so we can catch Sakio off guard. She's like, okay! <laughs> and so, how long would this ruse go on? He's like, it might go on forever. It, it, it's going, I mean, I understand. It's, you're like, mm, yes, I suppose. <sighs> if, if, we, if I must. <laughs> well, she's like, yes. <laughs> In return, I will protect you and do away with him. But wait, I told you already that I don't want you to kill him. Can't we get Akaza to arrest him? You say that because you do not know him. His eyes. The memory was still fresh in my mind. They were the same hate-filled eyes from when he gazed into Shinomizu's spring. I'm sure what Sakio said came as a surprise. But he is more than a threat to just you. I suspect he's concealing another agenda. One to get rid of me. Yasuga? Once more, he was able to say such a horrible thought so casually. I've been privy to details of the scandals by the upper ele e echelon, echel echelons, echelons, it's echelons, wow, upper echelons for the military. Meaning I'm a nuisance to him, it's weirdly because you hear upper echelons, but like, but when you see it spelled out, it's like, wait, what? Like, After you've born a child, he'll find some way to eliminate me. Without my protection, you'll be at the mercy of his experiments. No, perhaps he will keep me alive. And that way he can leverage my safety in exchange for your cooperation. Also, one child isn't going to just bring... You need to have multiple children. Or perhaps he'll kill me, then force you to marry someone from another color class. It's said that the white bear only daughters of the white. He may wish to validate that theory by having men of each class breed with you. Stop! He'd do so in a heartbeat. He really actually would. I mean, clearly, like, if you don't do it, then I'm gonna have Nagusa do it. Excuse me, um, I have the option of choice here, but clearly not. That's just how mysterious the White of Tenyo Island are. It may have been against your will, but I believe you made the right choice to keep yourself safe inside Lord Doma's manor. But now you've left the manor to find your husband. Akaza may have had good intentions, but it has become a unique opportunity for Sakio. You, who are 18, can now mate and bear children. And that's where I come in to take my place of honor. He twirled my ribbon around his finger and gave it a kiss. 
The mere gesture sent a sweet shiver through my body. This is a really long part, but this whole thing, there was no good place to stop, really. If all this is true, then you don't need to be my husband and risk danger. So you allow another man to embrace you? I bit my lip a little. Just two weeks ago, when I was completely isolated at the manor, I would have laughed at those words. You're the last remaining white, aren't you? Stop wasting time roasting in this hellhole. Get to work fighting a man and having babies. This bitch words for Sakio, doesn't she? But I couldn't laugh it off now. What happened back in Yomi came back to me. Are you willing to lose your pride? To lose any means of protecting yourself and your children in the future? Those words jogged my memory. This part is like fucking forever. There was really no good, like, after... I mean, I guess when after he jumped off of us, we should have just stopped. Because, like, good lord. You're also destined to become leader of the White once you bear children. But we were in the heat of the moment, and it was like, oh, okay, we're still in the heat of the moment. And now it's just like, okay, what? I made up my mind back then. To bear children of the White. To lead and protect them. Well, of course I want to protect them. After answering in a shaky voice, I realized that I still didn't have a firm vision of the future yet. My child. Someone else with the white blood besides me. Do not worry. You'll not need to do much. All you need to do is pretend that you love me. Well, but... You're unfortunately not a skilled liar. Meaning deception is out of the question. Let me be the one to handle the dirty work. After all... I live in Yomi for the purpose of taking on all unsightly matters in this world. He said it without a shred of hesitation. That was who he was. I was again overwhelmed and saddened at the same time. This world was responsible for making Yosuga say such horrible things. All the unsightly matters. Sorrow, joy, frustration. My emotions were too much to handle anymore. His idea of preparing a suitable husband for you is not a misguided one. You're both wor you are both worshipped and feared by the people of the island. If you bore a child to some unknown man, issues related to the Hazushi would certainly arise. I'd be wonderfully suited for the role as a man from the secondary tier, who can be killed without public outcry. Stop it. However, should they publish news of our engagement, those longing for your hand in marriage may mourn the loss and move on. I almost told him there was no such person. But I had a meager sense of dignity remaining, and a feeling that if I answered that way, it'd be taken as acceptance of his proposal. Uh, assuming, just assuming, my voice shook with embarrassment. Assuming an article came out about your becoming my husband, and assuming you got rid of him, then what? That I do not know. I do not take back anything I said earlier. I could embrace you right here and now if I wanted to. But, I'm not foolish enough to believe you're completely in love with me. Huh? I heard a gasp of amazement come from somewhere, but I realized it was my own voice. Which is why this proposal between us is to set things in motion. I understand you're attached enough to not have killed me this night. If you do actually fall in love with me, if I find that my feelings for you are truly love, if the woman who is the other half of my soul... The feeling inside me was still fragile and scared. But strangely enough, it burned again with heat. Strong enough to fuel the desire to kiss him now. If he could only touch me. To think that I only realized it now. Well, I cannot force you to sleep with me. Without your consent, it'll only be rape, and love cannot be one-sided. He spoke calmly without even a twitch of his brows. I can't tell if he's serious or indecisive, or if he's simply playing with my feelings. I said I would protect you, so I'll do what I can to honor your wishes. But, but he just untied my ribbon a while ago. I thought that to myself, but I was too embarrassed to say it out loud. I understand what you're telling me, but as far as becoming my husband goes, I can't give you my answer now. You see, I'm not trying to defend that Sakio person or anything, but it could be love that I felt for Yasuga. Even so, I couldn't entrust myself to him yet. He still concealed himself from me, even now. So much has happened, I don't think I can take any more now. I'd like to speak to you again later, after I've taken some time to calm down. 
You certainly can. And, and promise me this. Never take the ribbon off my blouse again without my permission. Understood. I promise. I will not untie it without permission. I nodded repeatedly in response. Now then, we should return to Tengu Island. Seriously, because this part's like 15 minutes over. Jesus. Before I rouse the ire of the sleeping goddess on the Tarasu. Oh my god. There was like no good fade point, but like, because I, I kind of just figured that like, after we got up, there wasn't going to be like another 10 minute conversation. <laughs> anyway. Um, so the next part might be a little short, just be, to make up, because I just don't like want to have all of his parts be super long. And then it's like, oh, okay. He only has five parts and everyone else is like 14 or something. You know what I mean? Like, want to keep him roughly even. Like, even though it's because a whole part has been like five minutes here, 10 minutes here, 10 minutes here, 15 minutes there. Uh, but anyway, I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.